Hi, I'm Paul Ward and today I'm going to be going through a few accessories that you can use on your Canon or Nikon speed lights um, using this new product which is a, a mini beauty dish that fits onto the front of that uh, by Viewfinder Photography um, and it's quite a useful little piece of kit. So um, we're going to do a few experimental shots with our model Sarah and we're going to see how we get on. Uh, and what effect this sort of accessory can give to your shots just using a standard, a standard flash gun. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to use the flash gun on its own so that we can see the type of shots that we get from the camera just using the uh, flash gun with no accessory on. And then when, when I go to use the accessory we can hopefully see some difference um, and see the benefits that one of these things can give us. So um, today I'm using a Canon 5D Mark II um, and interestingly enough we're using a Nikon speed light um, that we're triggering using another little thing from viewfinder photography which is like a, a wireless trigger unit. So it triggers, you put this thing on the hot shoe um, and then we've got our trigger, uh, trigger unit there with a hot shoe on that the flash is attached to and this will trigger wirelessly so we're not going to trip over any wires or anything. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn the camera on, um, I'm going to set up my flash. Uh, for, this, for this purpose we're going to use one quarter power. Um, now when we put the accessory on we'll probably have to change that but for the moment we're going to use it on this setting. Um, and I'm just going to try a couple of shots and we'll see what we come out with. So Sarah can I get you to uh, yeah, stand there, that's great. And I'm just going to frame up and Ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, let's get another couple of shots here. So, that's great. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's perfect. I'm just gonna change my f-stop one. And ready, just bring your head around to me a bit. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's fantastic. So what we've got here, I'm gonna zoom in, That's that's great, that's exposed really nicely, it's a really nice shot actually. And, um, but what we can see from this, if we look, if we zoom in on the nose area, it's a really high contrast shadow, which is great. I mean, it looks really good on Sarah, but on some models this wouldn't really work that well. And ideally, what we're looking for is to, with this accessory, is to try and soften that light slightly and get a more pleasing effect. Um, so let's zoom out again. I mean, as far as, as far as that, you can tell by the shadow again, obviously because we're on a white background, you can tell that the shadow there is looking still quite contrasty. It's got a bit of a softer edge than the shadow on her nose and her, her chin because the white background is further away, but it's still quite a high contrast um, shadow. So what, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the accessory and uh, talk a bit more about that. Right, this is the... Um, the piece of kit that we're going to be showing uh, today and trying to do some experiments with. It's um, basically a mini beauty dish from Viewfinder Photography and uh, it works by, it's got like an outside dish rim and in here there's like a little deflector dish. Uh, let me just unscrew this. Okay. And basically it's like a little deflector dish that's uh, concave on the one side and convex on the other side. Um, now you can put it either way up. I think if you put it this way it gives a very gives a slightly wider diffusion. If you put it the other way it's a slightly narrower, more contrasty diffusion. Um, let me I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna find it difficult to put it back together again now. Let's put it back in there. That simply just screws screws on there. Obviously you can see it's loose at the moment. As I screw it up it will just sort of center it up, that's about right, and just finish, that's great. Okay, now to attach this to the speed light, it's got these little flaps here which will go around it and then a, a little piece of Velcro that just tightens it around the speed light. So let me take the speed light off for a second. And this simply, we've got some elastic bands that come with the kit. Uh, just so it doesn't move around too much. That simply goes on there like that and then we and then we just tighten this up and that just holds it all 
holds it all tightly in place. Right, let's put this back on here. Right, okay. Now what I'm going to do now, because we've put the diffuser, the little diffuser on the flash gun, we'll find that it will reduce the power slightly of our flash output. So to compensate for that, I'm going to just uh, adjust the power on the flash up slightly. There we go. So I've put that up from a quarter to a half. Um, and now let's try a couple of shots with this. Now what, obviously, I'm probably have, going to have to do a couple of test shots um, simply to see what my uh, aperture is going to be. At the moment, I'm sh uh, with the flash gun how it was before, I was shooting at f11. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take a, take a shot and see how it comes out, and I may have to change my aperture dependingly, uh, depending on what that is. So, Sarah, can I get you to just step a little bit forward? That's great. And we're going to do the same thing. Ready? And um, one, two, three... Okay, so the image is coming out a little bit darker than the other one that we had before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open my aperture, even though I've turned up the power of the flash, because it's diffusing it, the light so much, I'm going to have to change my aperture. So I'm going to go down to f8 and try another shot like that. Okay, so ready, one, two, three. That's perfect. Okay, so can I get you to do another one and just keep your shoulder at that at that angle that you had, and then just bring your face round a little bit. That's great. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, that's perfect. Right, so if we zoom in on this shot, we can see that the diffusion that she gets on the shadows is actually a lot more, a lot more pronounced diffusion than the very sharp contrasty edge that we had with the other, with the other soft light. So it is giving us the desired effect. Um, also on the back shadow, you can see that the difference there is, is quite substantial. Um, let me, if I just delete, if I just delete the two shots in between, just delete that. In fact, we can use that one. So if we flip between that one shot and that other shot, you, you can really see the difference in the back shadow. Um, and obviously on her, on her face, the difference is is noticeable as well with a very sharp contrasty shadow there and a more diffused softer shadow there. Okay, so now we've seen we've seen the effect that the um, that the diffuser itself, the little mini beauty dish itself does. What we're going to do now is just have a have a go with another little accessory that you can add on to that. Um, this is a really simple little diffuser that goes on the front of the beauty dish um, and it softens the light even more to give you a sort of much more softer sort of effect um, and literally this clips onto there clips onto the front now again we're probably going to find that this will lower the power of our flash again because it's diffusing the flash even more so let me just take a test shot with that and see what aperture we're getting Okay, so again, ready, one, two, three. That's great. Yeah, you can tell it's, it's softened the light even more. Um, I may have to, I can do two things here. I can either turn the power of my flash up or I can open up my aperture a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna try opening my aperture because if we're after that soft effect, opening the aperture a little bit more is gonna give us an even softer light. And it's, um, sorry, not a softer light. It's, Opening the aperture a little bit is going to give us a softer, sort of, you know, less depth of field. It's going to make the whole image look a bit softer anyway. So um, let's try that again. Right. And ready? One, two, three. That's great. Let's just... Okay, I'm down to 6.3 now. Just pull your head this way a bit. And ready? One, two, three. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we've got a great image there. We've got the softness on the shadows that we were looking for. We've got a nice little catch light in the eye as well here, which is looking great. And the shadow's softer at the back. Yeah, I mean, all in all, that, that shot's coming out really nicely now. Um, I'm pleased with that. 